President Tsai Ing-wen unveiled the first prototype of the latest made-in-Taiwan jet trainer. The prototype was developed by Taiwanese aircraft manufacturer Aerospace Industrial Development Corporation. The model will be ready for flight tests next June, and they are to replace the Air Force's older AT-3 and F-5 jets. Under bright flashing lights, a prototype of an advanced jet trainer made its debut. President Tsai attached the decal with the jet trainer's name before she climbed inside the cockpit. This model is mainly designed to train Air Force fighter pilots. It can be seamlessly adapted for training on the IDF, F-16 and Mirage fighters. Its first flight will be in June of next year. Forty years after Taiwan's last homemade trainer, the next generation is rolling out. Its completion marks a milestone in the Thai administration's indigenous defense program. After the rollout of the IDF fighter, Taiwan failed to promote its indigenous defense industry. This led to a gradual decline in the research and development of fighter aircraft. If we must outsource even the production of trainers, then our struggling R&D industry will be annihilated. Therefore, we have worked to reverse the situation. We insisted on trainers being produced in the country. On this road, we encountered many difficulties, many smear attacks and much denigration of Taiwan. But the evidence shows that we were right and that our efforts have paid off. The new variant will replace the AT-3 and F-5 trainers. Once it's ready for use, pilots will go through a simplified training process that involves two planes instead of three.